Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we're gonna be doing a little challenge. You know, we're all cooped up here at home because of this virus, so I thought it might be fun to try and build a turtle enclosure without leaving my house. Everything I use in this turtle enclosure will be found in my house. And you know, obviously I have a bunch of aquarium and turtle supplies, but I'm not gonna use any of that. I'm going to only use materials that you too could find in your house. I don't know how this is gonna go. I really don't know what I'm gonna do, but hey, if it turns out good, maybe this could be a suitable turtle enclosure. But before we get started, I think Sheldon wants to say hi. Sheldon! What's up, boy? <laughs> He's like, hey, when's that pond coming? Sheldon, don't you worry. It's on the way. So I am going to head into my basement and try and find anything that I could use. So let's see what I can find. All right. I got a few things. So this is all that I could really come up with. So let me explain what I was thinking when I chose these items. So this is a little stone brick thing. This was actually outside my back door. That is a real dusty two by four. And then this is just like a bin, I guess. You can keep clothes in there, whatever. And this is a little rolling bin thing. Uh, I think that's meant to go under beds so you can like store clothes or shoes or whatever. So this is about everything that I had that could work to make a turtle enclosure. So let me explain what I was thinking. So basically what we're going for is the tub that you fill with water and then the basking area. Everything else you pretty much need to buy like the filter, the heat lamp. So this is about all we can do. So with this whole idea, I was thinking, first of all, I would cut this two by four so it would be at a less steep angle, kind of like that. And then I could kind of drill it into the side and that screw would be above the water level so it wouldn't leak. And that would hold it in place. This would be the basking area. The turtle could climb up there and bask. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna go with that design. It's kind of trash, but this next one is a lot better. Here we have this brick and boom design is done. We fill up this tub with water. I think I'm gonna go outside and get some rocks to go on the bottom and then we'll put this up on an angle, put some rocks under it and that will act as our basking area. So before we start putting this turtle tub together and filling it up, I'm gonna go fill up a bucket with some rocks and rinse those off. Even though I'm not exactly permanently using this turtle tub, I still want it to be clean. So let's go get some gravel. All right, so as you just saw, I collected some gravel and rinsed it down. I also went ahead and rinsed down this stone. So we're gonna start putting all of this into our little turtle tub. We're gonna need more rocks. We're also going to put our stone into place, our basking area. And there we go. And there it is. It's looking pretty good so far. As good as it could look for only being stuff I find at my house. But anyway, I'm going to start filling this thing up with water. I'm just going to pray that this thing doesn't have any leaks. It probably would have been smart to check it before, but I'm just going to risk it for the biscuit. Here we go. does not appear to have any leaks. We're good. We'll probably need about two more buckets. We're almost there. We can probably do about another half bucket because you can see there's a hole right here. We do not want to go over that. About a half bucket and we should be good. And there it is. This tub is about as full as I can get it without going over that hole. As you can see, it's probably about three inches deep from the gravel line. I don't really recommend you should keep a turtle in that kind of depth. They should have at least like five or six inches of water to swim in. But this is about as good as I could do without leaving my house. But I mean, also if you were to make something like this, you're probably gonna use a lot smaller gravel. Like this is extremely large grain gravel. But yeah, I'm going to put some finishing touches on it. Everything thus far was done with stuff that I found at my house. And I wanna mention real quick, if you are using this video as a guide to set up a turtle enclosure, there's no way to get around the filter the lamp, the heater, you're gonna need to buy those. So yeah, you can't just completely do everything on your own. You're gonna need to buy some stuff. And that's what I'm going to install right now. So this right here is a lamp rack. This will hold our heat and UVB lamp over our basking area. Just slide the platform under like that. And then I'll go ahead and grab the lamps. And we're gonna raise that a little bit so we don't fry our turtle. 
that should be good. So I think this lamp rack is like $25 at uh, big chain pet stores. Of course you can like make your own. I could have built one with two by fours, but I'm not about to do that. And yeah, I'll go ahead and plug these in real quick. All right, so our basking area is done. And now I'm going to hook up a filter. So this is the filter I'm gonna use. I forget what model this was. I'll have like a picture of the box on the screen. I used this in my college dorm turtle tub, which is pretty much identical to this one. But I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this filter. And just like that, our turtle enclosure is complete. From my experience, I think that this filter is very good for this kind of project. As you can see, it creates oxygen in the water as well as circulation throughout the whole pond. There's like a whirlpool action going on. But yeah, like I mentioned, this is pretty much the same setup that I had in my college dorm. However, I had a different and much stronger tub. You can kind of see some bowing on this wall. And that's also why I pushed it up against my other stand. I recommend using a container that has a lot stronger plastic. You can see this is kind of flimsy, but yeah. I'm definitely proud of how this turned out. And like I mentioned before, I did as much of this as I could without using actual aquarium and turtle supplies. But there's just some things that you will need to buy, like the lamp and the filter. And ideally you would also want a water heater to keep the water at a constant temperature. But in this case, we're not gonna set that up. And yeah, that is gonna wrap up this video. I thought that was a fun little challenge to do. I had a good time. And hopefully I gave some of you guys ideas for a turtle enclosure that you could make. But I don't know. I'm just bored. And I guess when I get bored, I build turtle enclosures. I have today's comment of the day and that goes out to Jimmy. I'm hyped for the pond. I'm super excited to see it all come together. Great vid. Thank you, Jimmy. And yes, the pond is coming very, very soon. I'm calling up the people to come scan for underground utility lines tomorrow. So when you guys see this, that will have already happened. So yeah, my next video should be a pond video as long as everything goes according to plan. So yeah. Stay tuned, that's gonna be extremely fun, and I can't wait to get started. But if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below, and that could happen. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. in the spring. I know, I'm sweating.